How's it going on everybody? It's me, the one that loves cartoons and in today's video, well, I'm gonna be talking about a cartoon. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Scooby-Doo. So it's been a long time since I did a Scooby-Doo video. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna give you my top 5 least favorite Scooby-Doo movies. And that doesn't mean that I hate Scooby-Doo. I really love Scooby-Doo. I mean, despite the movies that I'm gonna mention here are bad, but that doesn't mean that my opi my opinion on Scooby-Doo in general has changed. No, I still love Scooby-Doo, okay? So yeah, but there are some bad Scooby-Doo movies. So yeah, th this, this are my top 5 least favorite Scooby-Doo movies. So I'm, so I'm gonna start with the best of them to the worst of them. And it's just my opinion here, okay? So enjoy the video. So, number 5, we have Scooby-Doo The Mystery Begins, which is a live-action Scooby-Doo movie. And as a kid, I used to love this movie. But man, growing up, it just doesn't stand out to me. Really. I mean, yeah, I liked the idea of how the Scooby gang met. I liked how they met in the movie for the first time. But it's not like Mystery Begins is the one that we should count. Uh, is the one that we should consider as... a as a canon movie because there's other Scooby-Doo movies and series where they showed to us how the gang met. I mean, in a pup named Scooby-Doo, they were kids and they met, so they met as kids and in Scoob, they also met as kids in the movie Scoob. They showed to us that the gang met as kids. So it's just confusing here. And also my problem with the, the mystery begins is that Scooby-Doo barely appeared in that movie. I mean, this movie focused more on Shaggy and the others than Scooby. And Scooby was barely in the movie. He really didn't have much screen time. So I really didn't like that. And also, the movie is not interesting in general. There is not much location, locations in, in it. I mean, you, you only have the school, Shaggy's house. And we barely see them outside. Like, we barely see the gang outside. So yeah, and the story is just not interesting in general. The actors were fine, but uh, the movie wasn't that good. So, we go to number 4, and uh, number 4 we have Scooby-Doo Return to Zombie Island. And man, this movie really ruined the best stuff about the first, about the original Zombie Island movie. I mean, this movie is a sequel to Zombie Island, and man, it really failed. It just doesn't work for me. The Zombie Island is a dark movie with supernatural elements, but the sequel, but the sequel, the sequel is just goofy, and the zombies are not real. The cat people are not real. Nothing is real like the first one, and the designs of the the zombies are not very good compared to the first one because these zombies are not are, are fake but in the first one they are real they're freaking real so yeah when i heard about this movie i thought that maybe simone and lena could have survived and i th that would have been awesome that's what i wished for when i heard about this movie and i thought that like the the zombies are gonna come back and being evil so yeah like, I thought that Simone and Lena could have survived and now they want revenge or something. Something like that. But, but nope, it's just not a really good movie. This sequel is not what I, it's not what I expected. And it shouldn't exist in the first place. It's, it's just a joke of the first Zombie Island movie. Which is, in my opinion, a masterpiece. It's an amazing Scooby-Doo movie, but this one literally ruined everything with a lot of retcons. And despite what happened in the first Zombie Island movie, Velma still doesn't believe that supernatural stuff exists. And we saw that in the sequel. So yeah, this movie is a bad sequel and it doesn't live up to the first one. So, in number three... We have Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico. And man, this movie is really bad. 
I just don't like it. It's so boring and the monster like the the monster of Mexico like only appears in the first half of the movie and then doesn't show up until like the end. So yeah. Uh, a really bad Scooby Doo movie like it's it's really boring. Not my not much. There's not a lot of stuff that I really liked in this movie. So yeah. So and number 2 is Scooby Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. And I don't know if you guys remember this movie. It's just a very very old Scooby Doo movie. And I I wasn't even born when the movie was released. Uh, it's very old and the animation was old too. It was the Scooby Doo Where Are You animation. And the animation is not the problem. I mean, it makes sense why the animation was old. Like, so yeah, but 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 my problem with this movie is that it's just super boring. I mean, you have these two brothers that must find a way to make Shaggy a werewolf. And like, out of all the people, like, Shaggy is the one that, like, need to be a werewolf. And Scrappy was in the movie, and uh, he really wasn't the problem of this movie. I know that a lot of people hate Scrappy do, and yeah, I also hate him, but uh, he wasn't a problem to me in this movie. It's just that the movie was boring. It's just, the movie was boring. Yeah, a lot of people hate Scrappy. Like I never grew up with the the shows with Scrappy do, so I never, I was never invested in his character that much. So yeah, and like I said, the movie was boring, and man, I really hate the car race. It really dragged for the entire movie. It's and it, and it was boring. And Shaggy had a girlfriend in this movie, and her name is Kooky or Googie. Uh, I really can't remember, but she is just there. She's just there, and I really don't know why she exists in this movie. And she, it's not, and. She, She's not like a recurrent character. No, she only exists in this movie. That's it. She appeared in this movie and she never appeared again. So yeah, she only exists in this movie and then we never saw her again. And she's like Shaggy's girlfriend. Like they don't explain to us like how they are together or something like this. So yeah, she just came out of nowhere. And the relation between them, between Shaggy and uh, Cookie, Googie, just came out of nowhere. And Fred, Daphne, Velma were not even in that movie because those were the years where Shaggy was wearing the re a red shirt and Scrappy was there. And uh, the others were, were not there. So yeah, I just didn't like the movie. And like I said, my main problem with it is the car race. It really took forever to end. Really. It was really boring. Now to number one. To the worst Scooby-Doo movie. And it's Scooby-Doo and the Arabian Nights. And and it's the worst Scooby-Doo movie ever. And I will always stand by this. I know some people say that it's not a true Scooby-Doo movie. It's not a... It doesn't count as a Scooby-Doo movie. Well, I don't know what to say. It is a Scooby-Doo movie, but not a real Scooby-Doo movie at the same time. Listen, this movie, it's just horrible. I really hate this movie. And it's, it's about Shaggy and Scooby telling stories and it's really bad and Shaggy and Scooby barely appeared because this movie is not even about Shaggy and Scooby it's just about following the characters from Shaggy's story and I didn't like that I mean no one asked for this movie seriously I mean if you're going to make a Scooby-Doo movie then give me Scooby-Doo not something else like I only seen this movie once in my life I was 11 years old when I watched this movie and I really didn't like it I really didn't care about this movie because when Shaggy was telling those stories I was like hey where's Shaggy and Scooby why they're not in this movie so yeah and la le let's be real here this movie I feel like it only exists to fill the gap between a pup named Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island because remember after a pup named because Sco remember after a pup named Scooby-Doo we, we really didn't have much Scooby-Doo. I mean, the franchise was in a decline. We only had some commercials and a crossover with Johnny Bravo and the Arabian Nights movie, this, this movie. So yeah, so the Arabian Nights, it really sucks. It's just not good. So yeah, 
this is my list for the top five worst Scooby-Doo movies. So tell me your top five worst Scooby-Doo movies in the comments. I really want to know your ranking version. So yeah. And like I said, this doesn't change anything. I still love Scooby-Doo and yeah. And uh, I, en I enjoyed some of these movies that I just ranked here. I liked it. Like, like The Mystery Begins, I, I enjoyed that movie, because that movie w was my childhood. But yeah, looking at it now, it's just not good. But I will still respect The Mystery Begins. I will still respect the movie, because I really used to love, to love it back as a kid. So, if you guys liked this video, please give it a like, and if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe, it will mean a lot to me. And turn the notifications, so you will be the first one to know when I upload a video. So thank you guys so much for watching, I'm the one that loved this cartoon, and you're the one that love it too.